It's been one week since the deadly attack that killed 50 people at two New Zealand mosques. Today, more than two dozen of those victims will be buried. John Lawrence reports. New Zealand remembering those killed one week ago. When, when any, any part of the body suffers, the whole body feels pain. New Zealand mourns with you. We are one. Authorities say all 50 victims have been identified and their bodies are being returned to their families. I believe that my, my son and my husband are in heaven now. Two minutes of silence in Christchurch Friday afternoon local time. Right before that, the Muslim call to prayer was broadcast across the country. We need to, to show the, the whole world that what's happened can't stop us from practicing our worship. Authorities say the two mosques targeted by the gunmen will be returned to the community this weekend. We have shown that New Zealand is unbreakable and that the world can see in us an example of love and unity. New Zealand is already in the process of changing its gun laws. The push includes banning military-style semi-automatic weapons and assault rifles. Officials are also working on a buyback scheme for those arms. I'm John Lawrence reporting.